Hey Flight Simmers, welcome back to another new video this time around with the Unreal Weather mod for Flight Simulator 2020. So in this video I'm just going to talk about briefly what the Unreal Weather mod does exactly and uh, we'll use some in-game or in the sim uh, examples. So first of all Unreal Weather Live Metar is uh, a mod that adds live dynamic weather to the game using uh, METAR information. So any uh, METAR reports from around the world. These reports are retrieved in real time based on the current location of the player in the sim and the in-game weather is updated accordingly. Also the current METAR report and monitoring station information is displayed in the weather settings menu within the game. And the mod is highly configurable which allows users to adjust it to their liking and gaming hardware capabilities. It also supports smooth and user configurable transitions between different weather states to provide the best experience. This mod is basically developed as an alternative to the built-in live weather system in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which uses the Meteo Blue weather information instead of the METAR information. So this is the webpage for Unreal Weather Mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And what you, the latest version is the uh, 1.4 as I made this video. And so you, what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down and each version you can see what's new. So to download, uh, you want the latest version, it should be here. I already have it downloaded. Once you have that downloaded, just unzip it. So once you've unzip the Unreal Weather Live uh, METAR, this is the 1.4 version. What you're gonna wanna do is select uh, your latest flight simulator build version. So right currently we're on 1.9.3.0. Uh, so we'll just click on that folder and we'll uh, copy this folder and you're gonna wanna paste it into your community folder. So just go ahead and paste that into the community folder We'll have it right there. And then the next thing you're going to do, I'll provide this link down in the description below as well. But you want to go to this website and there's a few options here. The hobby will be enough. You don't need to pay for anything. Just uh, click uh, subscribe or sign up. So I'm signed in and what you have to do now is click on this plus sign, all right? and you get a new uh, token. So for demonstration purposes, I made a new token. So you're gonna wanna click on the HTML folder, click on templates, click on weather edition menu, and then we're gonna wanna open the weather edition menu, the, the uh, JavaScript file. Uh, we'll right click that and you can open it with a notepad or whatever you want or a Word document. I'm gonna open it with a notepad. And now this is when you're gonna wanna go back to uh, this website and with the token you've uh, received, you're gonna highlight that token and just go ahead and copy that. And then we'll go back to the notepad. And where it says METAR API key, there's two quotes in between the quotes. You're going to want to paste the token and just go ahead and save that. So now that we're here, we're going to just, I'm going to just briefly show you that uh, some settings are, you can configure or change to your liking. So once again, we've already put the token and pasted that in here. You have a few different settings. So you have uh, METAR polling frequency in minutes so that in minutes uh, will update. I have it set to 10, for example. So every 10 minutes, it will uh, search for new uh, information, weather information that is, and uh, inject it to the simulator. And then the next setting, which is weather transition span seconds. That basically, the default one I think is 180 seconds. So it'll take 180 seconds to inject the new information. I have a 30 seconds. It's quite abrupt. It's, um, I don't really recommend that setting, but you can toy around with the settings and see what uh, better fits to your liking. And then the next setting we have weather transition step seconds. 
they don't uh, the the creator of this mod doesn't re recommend going below 0 0.1 uh, i have it set to 0 0.2 for the time being that seems to uh, work fine for me and next off we have uh, all the features so we have temperature uh, precipitation aerosol density pressure snow cover lightning clouds wind and high elevation wind so basically one means that the feature is enabled and zero is disabled uh, uh, for default everything is enabled except the aerosol density the creator says that uh, this may cause serious stutter during transitions uh, for the time being i have it set to see if uh, it changes anything and it fits better to what I like. And for the time being, I'm just testing that out. So you can change this to your liking as well. Just remember zero is disabled and one is enabled. All right, so once you have the sim all loaded up, you go to a world map, kind of choose where you want to fly. So once you've selected a place that you want to uh, fly, We'll go to the flight conditions uh, tab over here. We'll click on the Unreal Weather Live METAR. And you can have the live time selected or any other time that you want. But you will get the most up-to-date METAR info. So we'll go ahead and uh, click fly. So once you're loaded up in the sim... If you want to know that it's actually currently working, go up here, go to, to go to the weather tab, and you'll see we have the Unreal Weather Live uh, METAR selected. You can have live time on as well, it's no problem. So to know that it's functioning, you'll get the um, METAR down here at the airport that you're currently located at. That's portrayed here, and uh, you also get the time that the uh, new METAR was loaded. So I'll just go ahead and kind of show you what that looks like uh, currently, and we'll compare it to uh, to the live default weather uh, system that's uh, in the uh, flight sim. So currently this is what's being uh, portrayed. Uh, it's a cavoke situation, so it's, you know, it's limited to, uh, by altitude. So currently here in Madrid, there's actually clouds. Uh, they're mainly cirrus clouds at like 24,000 feet or higher. And uh, of course, you don't get that portrayed. So we'll go ahead and switch to the live default weather. And uh, we'll see what we'll get with that. So we'll go ahead and switch to that. We'll go to live weather. And just uh, let that load up. So this is the live weather default, and this is uh, more accurate right now. There's actual cirrus clouds, well, if you can even call it cirrus clouds, but uh, there's high level clouds, which is currently the situation here in uh, Madrid. So once again, it's just uh, Rex would uh, do the same thing. I'll do a more uh, comparison between live default weather, Unreal weather mod, and the Rex weather force. I'll do some comparisons at several different locations around the uh, globe, and we'll just uh, compare that. And I'll do that in a in a future video. That'll take some more time to to record and make.
I appreciate for you guys watching the video. Hopefully you find the Unreal Weather Mod pretty cool. It's another option to have. Uh, depending on the flying that you do, it might be more convenient or less convenient. That's up to you to decide. I use it from time to time. Anyways, guys, more future videos coming up. Also, just want to thank everybody. We're about 1,100 subscribers, which is uh, astounding. And once again, I just want to say thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to get all my future videos that are coming. And as always, stay safe, happy flying, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.